Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Father God, we ask you to forgive us of any sins we've done. We ask you to help us understand your word today, Father God. Help us to apply it to our lives, Father God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this podcast. We ask you to give us a wisdom and understanding. We ask you to, to help us to... um Take this word and use it, Father God. Father God, we thank you for blessing the ones that are hearing and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The verse of the day is Job 8, 14 to 15. What they trust in is fragile. What they rely on is a spider web. They lean on the web, but it gives away. They cling to it, but it does not hold. Subject, fragile as a spider web. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause on each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm built on the rock. I'm a temple for God. I'm not. I'm broken. I am strong. I remember when I was younger, my mom had this cabinet. She put all her glass stuff in. And she would tell my sister, and I, don't touch it. Don't open it. Don't do anything to it. And honestly, I never touched it. I was, I, I wanted to, but I didn't. I did it because I knew whatever that was in that cabinet was something I didn't want to break. As I got older, I realized everything was glass. I understood that it was fragile. When something is fragile, it breaks so quickly. So you must handle it with care because if you don't, you could just drop it or crack it. The things of this world are fragile. Not that it's precious, but they, they break under pressure. And what this world says is precious or what is valuable typically isn't. And what the world leans on usually breaks because what's here on earth can't last. All this glass figurines that my mother had, have, even though she put them in a cabinet and she basically said, do not touch, doesn't mean they were, they would never break because things here on earth, no matter how far up you put it or how you keep everyone away from it, it still will break. The things of this world aren't meant to last. The morals, the theories, the things of this world won't last. But we as humans find ourselves leaning on it. The Bible verse today says it's as fragile as a web. And when we lean on it, it breaks. It can play, it can't place our trust on, we can't place our trust on anything here on earth. We can place our life or anything in this world because it will break. But we can trust in and know we can trust. We refuse because we'd rather have what we can't what we can see than what we can't, which is Christ. In the book of Luke chapter six, Jesus was teaching to the people and he tells them that who comes to me and hears my word and put them into practice, I will show you what they are like. He said, they are like a fountain foundation built on rock. He said that when we put everything into the hearing him, we are strong. He said, when we put everything into focusing on him, we can't be beaten. He said, when we come to, when we come to him, and hear, and he will hear us. He said, I will be a rock. Verse 48, there are like men building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When a, when a flood came, the torrent stuck that, that house that could not shake it because it was well built. He said, when we are built on him, nothing can shake us. We aren't like the people in the world holding on to the spider rail, but we are like a house built on rock. We are built well. It's a house that's up the street from me. And this house wasn't built right. Every time it rained, the water builds around it. The water doesn't go nowhere, but it stands. When we are building on things of this world, everything this world has a label. Every seed the enemy plants in our head stands with us. Why? Because the things of this world are meant to bring us down, not uplift us. We must start searching for the right way and holding on to the right way. Verse 49 says, but the one who hears my word and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without foundation. The moment the torrent stuck, that house, struck that house, it collapsed and the destruction was complete. It says here that those who are built on the foundation, which wasn't on the rock, collapsed and can't stand. This is just like us. If we are too busy seeking the things of this world, we are too busy holding on to fragile things of this world, we will always break. But when we search for God and when we hold on to him and we place the word of God in our heart, we won't fail.
we won't be shaken. Today, if you're you're scared that you're not building on the right things and that your life is built on spider web, which is the world world of drinking, smoking, having illicit sex, ask God now to help you to hold on to him. He's the rock. He's the fire. He's what we need. People in the things of this world would not get us to heaven. But being built on the rock, leaning on God, we will we will make it if we allow the world word to help us not to be shaken. Prayer. Heavenly Father, forgive us of any sins we've done, knowing and unknowingly. Thank you for watching over us as we sleep. Thank you for always being there for us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you be the foundation that holds us, that we continue to allow you to pour into us so that we can take the, take your word and we can apply it to our lives. Every day, Father, we appreciate everything you have given us, big or small. We ask that you help us fight against anything that's not of you. Father God, we ask you right now to be the beacon in our life to show us how we can do your will. Thank you for opening our eyes so that we may see and please open our ears so that we may hear. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference, 1 Corinthians 3, 10 through 11, by the grace of God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder and someone else is building on it, but each one should build with care for no one can lay on any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 3.15, if it's burnt up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only one escaping through the flames. First Corinthians 3.15, First Thessalonians 5.11, therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. First Thessalonians 5.11, further reading Joel 1, 1 through 3 and 21, Revelations 1, 1 through 20, Psalm Psalms 128, 1 through 6, Proverbs 29 and 18. If you're looking for the memory verse, the verse of the day, the subject, further reading or reference, please check the bottom of each podcast. This is Fragile as a Spider Web. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Be blessed. Remember to click the like or subscribe button. Thank you so much.